Hello, this is Tech Neon doing a test play for King's Quest V on the NES. That's right, not the PC version, the eye-blistering, ear-shattering NES version. The reason? It's funny to see how different the game actually is on the NES. And, uh, you know, I'll try to keep it interesting with, you know, crack, trying to crack jokes wherever I can. But this is just a little taste to see um, if anyone would be interested in uh, viewing this any further. So let's go. Here we go. Get past this if it will let me. I don't think it is. Come on. Ah, the old Konami logo. I love that logo. Why'd they change it? That one's too simplistic. And it, oh. <laughs> yeah, this this tile screen should be an example of where this game's gonna go. <laughs> uh, let's skip the story mode for this one. Okay, we instantly start out the front of the Wizard Crispin and. This is King Graham, and uh, as you see over here is his little assistant, Cedric, not the entertainer, Cedric the Owl, rather dignified, dapper, nocturnal bird. Um, this is King Graham, his castle and family have been kidnapped by an unknown wizard, and he's been brought to this strange world to try and find out why they were taken and how to get them back. And in this strange, very pixelated land... Danger lurks around every corner. As we can see, there's a snake up there. So be really careful not to walk into him. Can't get rid of him till later. This is a town looking nowhere near as good as it does in the PC version. Then again, pretty much everything in this game doesn't quite look as good as the PC version. In fact, it's almost comical, which is why I reckon it'd be a good idea to do a playthrough of this game. This is a lake down here. If I'm stupid enough to walk into it, I will die. Let's continue ahead. The North Inn. If I'm stupid enough to go inside without being prepared, I will die. Uh, as you can see, Cedric up there on top of the barn will follow you in pretty much every screen, except for the place he doesn't follow you. That's a bear. If I go anywhere near the bear, I will die. <laughs> These are ants. If I go anywhere near them, I get pushed back a little bit, so I'm a little bit safer when it comes to the ants. Um... Alright, let's see. To the left, you will find the desert. If I go more than eight screens that way, without taking a drink of water from an oasis that I may have to find, I will die. If I proceed downwards, I will be bitten by a scorpion. And I will die. <laughs> see, I'm, I wasn't kidding when I said danger lurks around every corner in this game. So let's start off by showing a few little things you do here. Now the bear, the problem is I've forgotten how to deal with the bear. <laughs> you can't actually do anything yet though. Um, I know that you have to pick up an item later and I'm sure it will come to me as I go along. I have beaten this game. I'm just going to pick up that stick. I have beaten this game before. I do know how to beat it. Now, here's what you do for the ants. Uh, there is a, in case you can't tell, that's a dog terrorizing the ant, ant hill there. Doing a canine version of the ant bully, I see. Now, we will throw the stick at the dog. Well, not at the dog, but in his general direction, so he completely forgets about the anthill and runs off with the stick. Why he does that, I do not know. Well, you know, I think an anthill is more annoying. Than... And speaking of annoying, this music is annoying. And uh, the Ant King basically tells you, thanks for helping us out. If you ever need help, we'll be there for you. And I will enlist their help now. Over here next to the inn where they knock you out and kidnap you. I... Oh, wait. Wrong thing. This is a very hard to navigate inventory. It's very laggy, too. You press a direction and it takes ages to actually move over. Okay. Use the hand. Go into the haystack. And... Uh, it's, I know it's a bit hard to see, but the ants have shown up. And they have picked up something out of the haystack for me any point. Here we go. They found a golden needle. Now, what do you do with the golden needle? I shall show you what we do with the golden needle. As Graham walks extremely slowly to the village or town. Okay, okay, Cedric said it's a town. He won't follow me in because he's a piece of chicken shit. Uh, I have to go into the tailor's. 
which is, I don't ask me how I know it's the tailors, I've played this game enough to know where everything is. Now, I will get my inventory. Open the inventory, please, thank you. Select the golden needle. Give it to the guy. It gave me an X, that's very annoying, stop that. Damn it, stop it! Give it to him, there we go. Give him a needle. And for my troubles, I will be given that cloak on the right side there, which I will need later in the game to avoid freezing to death in the mountains. Don't ask me why. You can't. Don't ask me why am I in the mountains or how I know that. Again, it's because I've beaten the game before, and I'm just trying to remember everything you need to do. You have to do quite a few things to prepare for the uh, later areas in the game. And the funny thing is, the game doesn't actually tell you what you have to do. <laughs> you have to figure it all out yourself and make about 400 different save points nearly any point in the game to make sure you don't screw up. Now let's finish this with an epic death. Hmm. Place seems friendly enough, doesn't it? Let's walk up here. Gentlemen, please excuse me. Diane's full, I ain't got no more rooms. Hey, your boss, this guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? I'm not putting on these accents. This is actually what's written here. Rub him out. Conked out on the head. And tied up in the basement. I wonder if Maya Fay's in there at all. Uh, struggle as he might, Graham cannot escape his bonds. Graham is more or less fucked. <laughs> and that's it. This is, um, yeah, that's the, uh, that's my little preview of the game. Um, if you want to see the rest of the game, I'm more than happy to do it and add my little bits of commentary over the top. So let us know on the forums. See ya!